one of the major problems is too much information. The number of scientific papers is increasing very fast. In 2008, it was about 1,800,000, so that's um, a little more than 5,000 a day. And since we are humans, we cannot read all the papers. And uh, it's, it's increasing, and in 2013, so the, this year, we will reach uh, probably more than two, two or three million. Um, so it has been studied that the average time of reading by a scientist of, of a paper, it was 38 minutes 10 years ago. Today it's 24 minutes. So that's not a lot. And what does it mean? It means that scientists are not reading all the paper. They are, they are reading bits, bits of the paper. And they are not reading from the start to the end. They may start reading at a figure, or they may start reading at the results and discussion section. And this has direct consequence on writing. It means that each part of your paper must be readable and, see, and citable in itself. So a reader should understand a figure without reading the article text. That's very important, but that's very difficult when you're writing the article because you are inside the, the subject. Uh, 